Welcome to the K1 World Grand Prix 2015 Japan. The under 55 kg World Championship Tournament at the Yogi National Stadium, second gymnasium. I'm Nikos And I'm Nikos Bates. We have the K1 under 55 kg tournament. This is a quarter final between Nobuchika Terado and Rui Botelho from Portugal. This is like young blood going up against the legend here. Yep. Terado is absolutely a legend in this world, and he is now in 34 years old with 35 mm. wins and 15 knockouts against Rui, who is only 20 years old yeah. and only has one win. Okay. <laughs> and some interesting tattoos, yeah. But Let's man, see. what a chance to be given, right? Yeah. I mean, this is what K1 is about, you know. And all that uh, experience Terado is bringing against um, what uh, Botelho was. In a way, the rookie, we don't know much about him. But that could change in this fight. You never know. I mean, it's it, many factors that go into these fights, you know. Yeah. He comes from overseas, the travel, yeah. maybe he's not used to this. Maybe he's completely fine with it. What do you know? Maybe he had a bad flight over or something. You know, maybe he didn't sleep the night before because of jet lag, you know. So there's a lot of things that play into these international fights. They're being super cautious here in the mm. first minute, that is for sure. They have yet to exchange something. Right, right, just checking out each other. Oh, hey, man. Oh, that was a nice big hello hey. from Botelho. Yeah. Hey. That's a nice hello. Yeah. <laughs> oh, another hello. Yeah. Anyway, we're currently watching one of the favorites to win this tournament, so, you know, anything can happen, obviously. Yep. It's good to see what's going on. I like the eagerness of Botelho's show so Look far with that. the oh, yeah. and that kick. Great combos. No bars hold, hold back. Nice. Mm. Actually. Yeah. A great exchange. Yes. Interesting to see how uh, he, uh, yeah, he has actually slowed his footwork down. Mm. A little bit, he's not bouncing up and down so much as he was in the beginning. Down, but still. So there you hold that pace down. I don't want this pace down. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. Yep. Oh, it's totally actually, now it's gotten much better for Fatihaiwa because he's able to like really stand there and exchange it out properly. Ah, yes. It took him almost two minutes to start doing that. Yeah. It's funny how you see fights that do that. Oh, that was a big punch again. Man, you do not want to write this guy off. Yeah, yeah. He's landed a lot of punches I, in the first round. I like his punches. I feel like here that, you know, you know, the old legend here as he mm. is, that he uh, is a bit overcautious. Mm. Also, probably because, like, one of those things, again, the psychological aspect of it is, you know, it's a tournament, you don't want to rush into anything. Uh -huh. and it's, a, it's a young blood fighter, and yeah. you don't really know much about him. Um, so you can't take him too lightly. But he was being a bit overcautious, I think, in the beginning. He should have taken control of the fight earlier on. Right, right, yeah. He's just got sort of letting Botelho do his thing at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, he's got another two rounds to make up for sure. it. Sure. The last, I'd say, 30, 40 seconds were really good. Yeah. And for Botelho, this is, you know, you know, red eye there, so mm. he did take punishment. Where's Potato? It looks fine. Let's see, go in there and take control of the fight and show us what it's all about. Mm -hmm. 
Again, overthinking it, but maybe it's because of Rui's um, punch power being so big that he's like, really being cautious of not right. getting clipped. Right. He, he almost walked into a big punch right there. This is the definition of what a slow starter is. But then again, the Portuguese fighter here is also being super cautious of not walking into the sleeper. And that's why it's been so hard for them to initiate moves. Right, right. But like, see what happens when they start going, they go good. Yeah, he's doing really well. Yeah. We. And man, he's got a great variety of, of techniques also. Good yeah. high kicks and good low kicks and can, strong punches. He can join us, yeah. We. Oh. Is Terado kind of still a little sort of skeptical? Oh! Yeah. <laughs> oh. You almost had him with that. Man, listen to his corner being super excited. Nice kick. Oh, what up, Akka? That's what I told you at the beginning of the fight. Don't underestimate young boy. As they come with enthusiasm and excitement and just, you know, their spirits are so young. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Actually, just slipped under that punch. I slipped <laughs> just as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. great low kick again. But actually, that's kind of the way I do low kicks. Throw yeah. a big punch and then smash the leg. Ah, uh, ouch. <laughs> Yeah, so I like the way what, you know, and, and the aggressiveness that uh, Botelho is bringing all the way from Portugal. Absolutely. Um, to Terado. Yeah, he's connecting with more clean shots. He's had great low kicks. For me, he won this round. Mm. The first round could have been a draw maybe, but they were also just looking at him sort of for the first yeah. two minutes, you know. If he wants to win this one, Terado, he's going to have to really up his game in the last that's, round. Yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, they've got round three, which is next. Something to touch. Oh, this coach is a lady. Yeah. Bring it. Yeah, give him some a quick talk just before he goes into it. Does he say on his t shirt there Lion King something? Yeah, Leon. Lion to the Tiger. Serena! Serena! Here we go, round three of. Completely not related, but one of my best friends in Denmark is from Portugal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Completely not. But it, it's something that is related. It's round three, Novichka Terado and Rui Bukeri. You see the intensity here in round yeah. three, it's going oh, yeah. to be different. Oh, yeah. But again, Ow. because of the punch power, he's scared to engage him. Uh, Terado, why right? he needs yeah. to be more aggressive. He should need to be throwing twice as many techniques, you know. Good. You got him in the corner, take advantage of it. Oh, no. oh man! <laughs> what a fantastic kick there. Dude. Ooh, look, he's standing after that. Boom. Yeah, some of these low kicks are coming all the way from Lizzo. <laughs> Great to get there, yeah. Nice. Super compact hook. He just missed his chin there. Whoa, great low kick again. 
Yeah, so this is going to be a slugfest. Uh, like, the next two minutes, mm -hmm. unless someone gets clipped with something, it's going to look like that. Oh, yes. Wow, connected. Oh, yeah. Get out of you want a bit more business? So get out of well, I gotta tell you, you know, you get a chance like this, you're 20 years old, you're all the way in Japan, and you're gonna get everything you have. <laughs> yeah. Takes a high. Anybody's got nothing to lose, but. Absolutely, yeah. nothing to lose, everything to gain. Look at that, he's got great pressure on him, but he's not taking advantage of it. Fernando really needs to help his game here. There's only a minute left in the fight, and that is not looking good for him. Nope. Nice. See? He jumps into that left hook and almost gets knocked out all by himself. Whoa. Nice. Yeah, he get away and then come in and do it again. Rinse and repeat, basically. There you go. I'm rooting for young blood now. <laughs> yeah. This is an exciting fight for sure. Oh man, that high kick almost got him. 15 seconds. He might pull it off. And it's all over. Wait! That's it. We <laughs> just too late to that. So, yeah, we didn't know a lot about uh, Rudy Botero when he started, but man, he could really fight. He could fight. He could yeah. really fight. And I think he won that fight. I would actually mm. give it a 30 28 mm. to uh, Botelo. Yeah, I think Gerardo uh, needed to work hard. He just never got started properly. He I know, never found I know. his groove, you know. Yeah. When he finally started there? to put pressure on him and you had him where he was supposed to have him in yeah. the distance, you know, he, Botello didn't let him do what he wanted to. Mm. He never got started. And mm. that's because he's hitting harder, I think, and it just really put that fear of getting knocked out into his, his, his mind. Amazing. Amazing. At least 30 29, <laughs> but I'd say 30 28. Judge Chiba, 29 29. Draw? Judge Chiba, 29 29. Draw? Judge Chiba, 29 29. Draw? 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 So, if Gerardo wants to make a mark in his history again, this is this extra round is Look at where it. he has to. Fresh, young, standing up. I <laughs> know, right, yeah. yeah. Is he standing up? Yeah, yeah. Just the mindset of going back after having sat down is so different from when you're um, standing up. You're also making a statement with that. Yeah. You're in the gym and you're training the horses now. <laughs> Why would you have to sit down in the fight? Yeah. Man, so much going on. Well, good luck with it. That's all I can say. This is going to be an awesome round. It's a tournament and it's a must system, so they have to make it red or blue, yeah. unless someone gets dropped. True. Kind of feel that highly unlikely that you know, someone's going to get dropped here, but you never know. Oh, mm. look at that. What a fantastic start to this round. Then again, oh. it might. <laughs> Something might happen. Yeah, man. Hey. He is oh. getting close. I'm telling you. Love it. Boy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Another Portuguese dude. Wow. Wow. 
Well, I can hear the seconds telling him that he's gonna he's gonna go pace down. So he just has that little bit more patience. Man, that's a huge gamble to play on. Boy, he's getting too much punishment taken here for him to actually want to slow down. He needs to speed up now. Yeah. So he doesn't let young blood get uh, get ahead of him too far. His face is puffed. Mm. He's taking a lot of shots, both to the legs and to the head. I gotta tell you, the experience really has him like standing on his feet today. Nice. Great combination. I'm not sure the seconds and I are watching the same fight from what they're is completely off. <laughs> Up around left in the secure round. Man, that knee kick also like sneaking its way up there. That's dangerous, you know. Oh. Hey, oh, yeah, that's good looking. It's almost like it's too late, but he at least he is doing great stuff right there. Mm. Nice spinning backhand. Oh. Nice. One minute. Hey, that's good. He's actually starting to hurt him with that little kick. You see how his knee pop is mm -hmm. in a bit. Yeah. 30 seconds to go. Oh, man. Anyone can fight for another 30 seconds. Oh, good kick. I always feel like it ends up like in the last extra round that a lot of the fighters start like, you know, wrestling a lot. Right, but right. it's actually defeating the purpose of knocking their opponent out. Yeah. No one wins in this wrestling. Those are the kicks that you win out. <laughs> what a bomb he There we go. Yeah. Oh, another little kick. All right, get out of the corner. Get a, get a good last impression. Uh, nice one. Yeah, how do you judge that I'm still going to go with young blood. Okay. That's yeah. just mine. My hunch. Because the judges have to make that decision. My hunchback. Mm. <laughs> Why would his corner advise him to lay back and, and hope for him to run out of gas? It's a mystery. Yeah. That's such a dangerous gamble to play. I would never say that in a, in a, in a final extension round. You can see that uh, little damage that uh, Potato's had. Compared to, uh, he didn't get punched in there. Oh, yeah. Went to Potato. What? Oh, Tarado. Interesting. Split decision. Nine. Oh, oh, Tarado. Oh, Interesting. Oh, 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 so, yeah, that is his fight. That's the fight. That's the judgment, people. I think you're watching the K1 World Grand Prix 2015 Japan and the 5KG World Championship Tournaments. I'm Russell Goodall. And Nicholas Pettis.